says, you say that not everything we can blame on jinn. That's true. So how do we know if someone is afflicted by jinn, magic, evil eye, or envy? Well, this is something that the experts in Ruqya could tell you. I'm not an expert in it, but I can tell you that if someone feels awkward, if someone feels that he did something but he didn't actually do it, and people are coming to him and says, what's wrong with your head? You should have done so and so, and he said, I did it. He said, no, you did not. Then this is something to raise a flag. If someone, whenever he reads the Quran, he yawns and falls asleep. If someone all of a sudden goes into sieges and sometimes speaks different languages, then these are question marks. But not every failure in our life is attributed to this. So if I have a flat tire, this is envy. If my kid fails at school, this is evil eye. If my wife nags me, she's possessed by jinn. If I don't get a raise or a better position or job, then this is black magic, etc. No, this is not true. There are no signs, but it is indeed a, an easy way out for most of us. This is why we try to clench to it and justify our failures and mistakes and Allah Azza wa knows best.